I was him and still a big supporter of the hospital. I just never wanted to use it. <laughs> I was asked to get involved with the, the fundraising to raise funds uh, for Terry's house. And this started in 2007. And we opened the doors on January 11th, 2011. Being proactive um, with your health is, is beneficial to not only yourself, but your family. I have a commercial driver's license and I was getting my DMV physical when the doctor said I had a heart murmur. And I said, I've never heard that before. I'm 45 years old. I've, uh, first time I've heard I had a heart murmur. And so he suggested seeing a cardiologist. And during that time, the doctor had mentioned that there'll be some point in time in your life that you're gonna need a valve replacement and that involves open heart surgery. Dr. Kwasia sat across the desk from me and, and explained the procedure. I told him, I said, well, let's schedule it towards the end of the year. And he was, you won't make it to the end of the year with the condition that you're in. When he finally learned that he actually had a blocked artery that was nearly 80 or 90% blocked up, I think he realized that it was time and that he needed to do this so he could get back on his feet and feel better. Everything went well in the surgery, but on September 15th, I called Dr. Kwaja and he said, get the heart, get the Fresno heart now. Complications do occur in surgery, and unfortunately, Jeff had a, uh, such a complication and required uh, procedures and ongoing uh, hospitalization. Surgery number four it wasn't obviously a normal practice. We became very close at that moment, and I, I said, uh, my life's in God's hands and in your hands. And, and he said, do, do, we're gonna do everything we can for you. As, um, it would have been really easy to say in their minds that you know, he's not gonna make it. Um, nobody, nobody had that thought. Everybody was fighting for me. Um, it changes things in your mind. It changes things in your heart. Um, and they were all there to, uh, to help me through it. staff, not only were they caring, but they were compassionate with the situation I was in. They were always there caring and asking if I needed anything, how could they help? And during the time I was in the hospital, we had COVID, didn't get many visitors. My mom was allowed to come up. She became ill and Dr. Kwaja also admitted her to Fresno Heart and she was three doors down from me on the same floor um, and the staff would come in and tell me how my mom's doing, and I will say I was lucky, I was blessed. Um, God has bigger plans for me, and those also include community and, and supporting the, the health care that I received, um, and for others. I had many friends ask, aren't you going to Stanford, or aren't you going to, go to San Francisco, or are you going? I said, no, we, we have some great doctors right here in Fresno at community. I'm fortunate. I, I survived it. I survived something that a lot of people don't. Um, the odds were against me, but with the support I had around me, I made it. <laughs> Blessed.